Welcome back. We're having a good time here at the restaurant Blue Water here in the Henderson area, just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada, where you should be. I have to tell you, Chef Marco, this guy, really knows what he's doing. And if you're sitting in the audience uh, tonight with uh, the show, you know that that jerk chicken that he put together and a kebab was absolutely outstanding. And that mango sauce that went with it just made it all work. And it's the sweetness in the mango with the seasoning that goes in the jerk chicken. Those two with the wine is what made it work. You can't believe here with our third wine that we're going to have a 2009. It's Dry Creek Vineyards Old Vine Zinfandel. <clears throat> the law says in order to just simply call it Zinfandel, it has to have at least 75% of the juice in that bottle has to be Zinfandel. Could be 76, 77, 80, 90, could be 100% Zinfandel. That's okay. But if you add something else to it for one reason or another, it ha cannot exceed more than 25%. They have taken uh, 89%, not 75, but 89% Zinfandel juice, and then they've taken Petite Syrah, but they've added 11% Petite Syrah. So if you're a chef, or if you're just a home cook that you're looking to try to pair some food to go with this Zinfandel, and this is the last Zinfandel, so generally speaking, we think of the last thing as being dessert. What would we possibly put together for dessert to go with a Zinfandel like this? Now, can you imagine having a glass of big, juicy, full-flavored, wonderful-tasting Zinfandel to go with a little bit of Bananas Foster and say, that's a pear? Well, you're about to find out in just a couple minutes. Now, how do you make Bananas Foster? We'd like to have medium to almost well-ripened bananas. As we take butter, <laughs> maybe even a whole stick of butter, depends on how many people you're making Bananas Foster for, and you melt the butter. Then you take brown sugar, maybe a cup, and put that in the butter <laughs> and stir it around and then let it melt, if you will. Then you take the bananas and put it in there. You're pretty close. Now all you need is maybe a little bit of rum or some other type of liquor to add to it. We like to flambe it. And incidentally, I did a dinner here in Las Vegas a number of years ago. I don't remember how many. I'll say 15 years ago where I had, I, I did a complete, I was a guest chef at this restaurant, uh, and I did Bananas Foster for 50 people, and I flambated it all at once. We had flames that were almost that far from the ceiling. It was absolutely spectacular. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Okay, that's enough of that. I just want to let you know that uh, this third wine is absolutely wonderful. It's 14.5% uh, in alcohol. It's about $30 for a retail bottle of it. And again, it's a 2009 Dry Creek Vineyard Old Vines Zinfandel. Boy, I'll tell you, time flies when you're having a good time. And I want to say this. Uh, America's number one wine syndicated radio and television show. And we're here each week at this very same time. And if you've enjoyed tonight's program, tell everyone you know. Because you want to know more about my favorite subjects, log on to my website, leskincade.com. If you want a recipe, I've only put together since I was 14 about 8,000 of them. So if you need a recipe, send me an email, les at leskincade.com. I want to thank tonight the Blue Water Restaurant for all their help in putting this together. Chef Marco in the kitchen that couldn't come out like we wanted him to. My broadcast engineer, Jeremy Knight. Carl Magno from Viasian TV and High Definition for making television in Las Vegas, Cox Cable, and Direct TV all over Asia happening. All over Asia, folks. I'll tell you about that some other time. Thanks for <laughs> choosing and listening to Wines Du Jour from the left coast, from the east coast, and from all around the world on the internet and on television. I'm Les Kincaid. Good night, everybody.
Thanks for watching Wines Du Jour. We had a great time this evening tasting some wonderful food from Chef Marco and also three beautiful Zinfandels. And if you'll remember, we had Zinfandels that are from vines of a hundred years or older, some for 75 years and older, and some for 50 years and older. So the Zinfandel was killer and the food was absolutely outstanding. We're here at this very same time, so don't miss us next time. See you then.